Hello, how's it going out there? Uh, I was just getting ready to make dinner, so I thought I would show you the spiralizing of turnip. Um, it's really fun to do, and it's really healthy, and it's a great substitute for pasta, if you can believe it. But it is, so let's get at spiralizing. The funnest dinner on the go. All right, so what I have is two turnips from Roots Country Farm. They're peeled. Oh my God, these turnips are so good. They're like juicy and sweet and divine. So let me show you how to spiralize. So what I've done is I've picked this blade, which makes like skinny little pasta bits. And let me see now, let's get this working. Once it's working, it's really easy. It's just getting it going sometimes is the problem. Okay, let me see if I can get my demo. So you gotta stick it on this little stem right here and then this moves in and spiralizes it. So you gotta stick this on, how do I do that? I'm gonna stick this on here like that. Get that there. The key is to get it all oh, nice and settled away. Okay, I'm gonna move back a bit so you can see it. All right, and the key is also pressure. So watch this sucker go. Ooh. Okay, let me get this. Now, is that gorgeous or what? Look at that. And honestly, you can grill this, you can steam it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it, because, man, it's wicked. And even if you don't eat it all, you can stick it in a Ziploc bag, and it lasts for days. So you just take out a lot of it, like however much you want, and you just stick it in your frying pan, or like I said, you can steam it. It's kind of neat. Then you pull this thing out, and I kind of joke like this is the uh, like the Pope's nose of of a turnip. <laughs> Anyhow, so I chop those up, stick them in there. Da -da 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 -da. I'll spiralize the other one in a minute. So I've got my pan on over here, so I can get my onions on in advance. So put. I put coconut oil in my pan, and I have cut up onions, hot peppers, also from Roots Country Farm, and garlic as well. So that's all gonna go in the pan, but I'm gonna put my onions in first. Get them a little browner. I don't like bright onions. So we'll stick those in. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put the hot peppers in with it in order to get them going. But I'll leave the garlic out and put that on at, at the last minute. So here, let me get my other one. Where's my spatula? Yeah, so I got those happening in the pan. All right, everybody brown up. Because I don't want to cook the turnip as long as I cook the onions, because I want the turnip to be a little more raw than, you know, cooked, cooked to shit. <laughs> Keep the nutritional value in it. Oh. Alright, onions are doing it, so let's spiralize this sucker. Stick that in. Stick that in. All right, are you ready? Spiralized turnip number two. Oh, actually, here. I'm gonna put this one in this bowl so that I have an empty bowl here. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah, I can do this. The hardest part is, oh, getting started. And if you don't pick the right part, it's kind of, Let's try this. And you kind of got to find the sweet spot for it. 
Oh, we have action. Sometimes I'll get Besh to help me because <laughs> sometimes it's easier with two people. And it's a good workout. Oh, look at that. I mean, isn't that fantastic? So I figure while I have my spiralizer out, I might as well spiralize more than I can handle for one meal so that you don't have to take out this thing again and do it. <laughs> I found a photographer over my shoulder. It's Bash. Alright. So what I do is I got a Ziploc bag and put this stuff in it. So we'll eat one turnip tonight. And then we'll have some for lunch tomorrow. Nom, nom, nom. Like I said, from Roots Country Farm. <laughs> it's very good. Very good. Alright. In the bag, and we pop that in the fridge. Look at that. Gorgeous. Hello, Amy Donovan. How are you? Number one, you are the cutest person on the internet. <laughs> Number two, I am dying to see what you do with these. <laughs> well, thanks. Um, I, I hope it's really exciting what I show you here on the internet. Hi, Carla. Hope you're having a beautiful fall day in Newfoundland. I am. Hi from Newfoundland. Carla is like the biggest fan of Newfoundland of all times. And thanks for always being on my Facebook page. Hello, Gina Marie. Yummy, I want to try this. Yep, no problem. You should come over to my house sometime. I'll make it for you. Okay, back to dinner. Hello, Christine Holly. I see your name too. Hello. All right, we got our onions are cooking. Mm, yum, 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 yum. And there's nothing like cast iron. to get a good grill on the go. All right. Onions, doing great. Okay, let's pull apart our spiralizer. Ready, pull out that center. Mew, kind of phallic. It's like the turnip's penis or something. <laughs> Anyhow, you get to eat it. Yum, yum. Besh actually eats turnip bra, which I can't be asked to push. Anyhow, and it's really easy to wash this. You just take out your blade and you rinse it. And this part comes out too. So it's really, really easy. And I should show you as well. There's like two other. This makes like an una noodle thickness. <laughs> Gina. I know why I'm cracked. Sometimes I don't even know why I do what I do. And this one makes these big spiral thingies, which is deadly. Carla, use your cast iron. You'll love it. You'll never go back to Teflon ever again, ever, 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 ever. Carla, do you have, do you have a gas stove or electric? I find uh, cast iron is the best of the best on electric. No, gas. Onions are doing great. Oh my God, the smell here is divine. Now what I do is I take my, because they're all in like one huge long piece, it's like Lady and the Tramp kind of nightmare here. So I just take it and I cut it up because it's just too long. Actually, you know what would work the best? Scissors, that's actually easier. Look. Let me put them up. <laughs> they actually say when you're uh, spiralizing your vegetables, if you put a cut in the vegetable, 
before you spiralize it, it'll like chop up your big long string. But what I found was my, whatever my vegetable was that I put a slit in, it didn't hold together very well as I was spiralizing it and kind of like fell apart and went off the rails. Anyhow, here we go. So what I do now is I'll take some of my olive oil just to wet them up. And I've got like garlic and chives and good stuff in here. Uh, what else do I do? Bit of curry powder, Madras curry powder. Put that in there. It loves to curry. Turmeric, which is so good for your blood and all that stuff. So I pop that in there. Bit of uh, maple syrup. Just a little, you know what? You don't want your stuff too sweet. And of course, beautiful salt. Num num. I only put a little bit in the pan in order, or sorry, in the bowl. And then I'll put salt on it at the very end after I serve it so that you can actually taste the salt and you don't have to put, you know, a shit ton in it and then potentially not really taste it. So I like to maximize my salt. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just mix it around. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move you up closer to me now that we're done with that part. All right, let me see, where are we? Okay, I gotta put you lower. Oh, sorry about the roughness. <laughs> Clearly, I'm an amateur. Okay, look, come on. So sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. So now I'm going to take our mixture, pop it in the pan. I think I overcooked my onions a little too much, but what odds? Can you really have onions that are grilled too much? No. Right? And then what we're also going to do, we'll take the garlic that I have chopped up from Roots Country Farm. Throw that in there too. Oh my god, big chunk. We'll stink tonight. <laughs> Jean, hi Jean Greeley. Can't say that I've spiralized my turnip before. You are the video queen. <laughs> Cast iron does make everything yummy. Oh my god. I love my cast iron. Look, I even have like the teeniest little cast iron pan. <laughs> like for melting butter and stuff. And Carla, I love seeing your view from your house. So beautiful. Miss it so much. Well, if you ever come to visit, you come to visit me. And Jean, someday I will have a cookbook. <laughs> Gina, I can hear you roaring. Carol on my hands stuck for a week. <laughs> Hilarious. Alright, so we'll let that fry up. So what I try to do when I uh, cook vegetables in my cast iron pan, what I do is I put it in there and I try not to mix it around too much. Give the heat a bit of a crank so that it's really... Um, cook it on one side and then I only cook it on that one side, let it grill and then pull it off so it's kind of like raw grilled, you know, best of both worlds. All right, so now what else we're going to get ready? So I've just got some green onions here that I had chopped up. So I'm just going to throw those in just because I have them. Da -da -da. What else do we have for this stuff? Got enough heat from our chilies in there. Uh, we'll save our salt for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and then the key ingredient after it's done is feta cheese. Yum, yum, feta. I mean, can you go wrong or what? All right. And there's one more ingredient, which I think you'll really like. 
Dun, dun. Cashews. So you know you want a bit of protein in it. Of course, you can throw in like chicken, fish, meat, anything you want. Uh, I like going for the nut, being a nut and all. So we'll put some of those in. Uh, we could chop them up, but I don't know. I like big old whole cashews just the way they are. So yeah, a little bit of a grill on the go here. Got our garlic in. Oh, you can smell it now, I tell you. So the cool thing is, turnip keeps for so long that uh, even the turnip we got in our basket from last year, actually, uh, I ate the last one, oh, like July or something. And the way to store it in the refrigerator is, and I read this off the internet, this is my, my own invention, it is to, you put the turnips in a Ziploc bag with a wet, like a damp cloth around them, which I wouldn't have thought. I would have thought that would make them go moldy, but it doesn't. It keeps them really great in the fridge. Anyhow, we got our cashews in. Oh yeah, the other thing that I really like in it is hemp hearts. These are the shit, man. Now, meanwhile, you can't even taste them, but they are a mega source of protein. Uh, what else do they have? What are they? What are they? What are they? Anyhow, hemp hearts, lots of good stuff in them. You can just put them in everything, and it's, it's like the miracle food. If you eat hemp hearts and quinoa, Man, there's nothing better. Nothing. And I'm always trying to figure out a way to cook local vegetables because I like buying local vegetables. Now, meanwhile, you know, in the winter, of course, I buy from the grocery store, but um, when possible, I like eating the food from here. And, of course, root, root vegetables are the way to go here because it's such a rocky environment and it is hard. Yes, Gina, Omegas, that's right. Yeah, uh, 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 um. Uh. Okay. And you know what? That's pretty much it. That's kind of all we have to do. Let me get a couple of plates. I should say bowls. Turn off my pan, and so it takes about, how long did that take? About 10 minutes to make, including preparation and all that. So, I don't know, that's pretty good. And then you get raw vegetables. And then, oh my God, this pan is so heavy. And just one turn up makes a meal for both me and Besh, which is wicked. Oh, the curry and the olive oil and the onions. Sweet Jesus in the garden. And then of course, dinner wouldn't be right without a big old hunk of feta. So. I wish you could all come over for dinner, <laughs> but I think I'd need a lot more turnips. Actually, I have a lot more turnips, so you could come over for dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, and that is it. Ta-da! Spiralized turnip with fried onions, garlic, um, fried onions, garlic, hemp hearts, cashews, feta, delicious, nutritious, from Roots Country Farm, naturally grown. I think that's about it. Now I must go eat it. Anyhow, I should say, if you want to keep up to date on all this stuff and my recipes and that type of stuff, you can join my email list. 
Um, it's there on my Facebook page. So sign up for, it's called a piece of pie. Get it? P-Y-E. Anyhow, you can sign up for my email list and I will send you my recipes and all my other stuff of twacking around in Newfoundland. All right. Thanks for hanging out. You guys always rock. Thanks for the conversation too and the comments and all that stuff. Hope you enjoy your dinner. Have a good night. Bye.